Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll be looking at uh, electricity circuit sums. And here we have an example in front of us. We have a battery with an unknown internal resistance. The EMF of the battery is 12 volts. So let's just write that down. We have the EMF of the battery as 12 volts. And then going further, calculate the parallel resistance. So to begin with there, to calculate parallel resistance, we can say one over RP is equals to one over R1 plus one over R2. Now, if you look carefully at the circuit, we see that the two ohm resistor is in parallel with these two resistors together. So if you put it in the sum, we can say one over two plus one over 3 plus 5. And if you look at that, we can get 1 over 2 plus 1 over 8. And that's going to give us an LCM of 8. And uh, 2 can go into it 4 times 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 1 will give us 5 over 8. And then this is 1 over RP. And if we swap it around, we get 8 over 5. And that will give us a total LCM. Uh, a total resistance of 1,6 ohm. So that will be the total resistors in parallel for the circuit that we have here. Going further, if you look at the number two, it says calculate the internal resistance. If the current is three amperes, now when you work out internal resistance, the equation that is most famous to use is EMF is equals to I into R plus R. Now, this is an equation that can work in many instances. If you look at this equation, we see that calculate the internal resistance. If you look at the EMF, the EMF of the battery is 12 volts. So we can put it as 12 volts. And our current, they said, is 6 amperes. And R is the R external. In this case, we worked it out as 1,6 ohms. So it's 1,6. And if you look at R internal, is what we want to find, and that will be small r. Now if you work this out, we see that if you take r, if you take divided by 6 on both sides, you get the r is equal to 0, 0,4 ohms. So that will be the answer for 1.2. Right, going further, the third part of the question is calculate the reading of V1. Now if you look at V1, V1 refers to the voltage, the potential difference in the circuit. Now, there's different ways of working this out, but what we will do, if you take uh, V1, you can say V is equals to I times R. So in this case, we're working on V external, so we can even write it as external is equals to I times R external. So our current in the circuit has been given as six amperes, and our, res our resistance external, we worked it out as one comma six amperes. So if we look at this, we say 6 times 1,6 on our calculator, we get 9,6 volts. So that would be the answer for number 3. All right, looking at number 4, the question is, if you go up and we see number 4, it says, calculate the reading on V2. Now, V2 is an interesting question because V2 only calculates the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor. This is very important. Now, what we must do here is work out the resistance, uh, the, 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 the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor. And it's not a straightforward sum. It takes a few steps. So the, the rationale that I use is that we don't have the, we know that the total current in the circuit is 6 amperes. But we don't know the current going through the 2 ohm resistor and the current going through the 5 and 3 ohm resistor. So let's see if we can work out the current going through the 2 ohm resistor first. So we say I, I is equals to V over R for the 2 ohm resistor. Now what is the voltage of the 2 ohm resistor? If you look here carefully, we are lucky in this sum because the, the, the voltage in the external circuit is 9,6 volts. So the, the voltage across this part of the circuit will also be 9,6 volts and the voltage of this part of the circuit will also be 9,6 volts because we know that voltage in parallel 
is equal. So the voltage across the two ohm resistor is 9,6 volts. And the resistance uh, uh, that has a, a voltage of 9,6 volts is 2 ohms. And if we take 9,6 divided by 2, we get 4,8 volts, or 4,8 amperes. So from this, we can show that the current going through the one branch in the circuit is 4,8 amperes. The current going through this part of the circuit is 4,8 amperes. And 6 amperes comes down here. 4,8 goes in that branch. So the remainder will go through the following branch. So we say 6 minus 4,8 will give us 1,2 amperes. So we know that the current going through the lower branch, the branch that we are interested in, is 1,2 amperes. So the current going through the 5 ohm resistor is 1,2 amperes. So therefore, we can work out the sum now. What we can say is V2 is equal to I times R, and that is a 5 ohm resistor. The current is 1,2 amperes, and the resistance is 5 ohms. And 5 times 1,2, which is 5 times 1.2, which will give us 6 volts. So therefore, looking at this sum, we see that we've worked out the voltage in the second circuit, uh, in, the, in, the, in the second branch to be 6 volts. So that will be the answer for number 4. If you look at the last sum, number 5, if the switch was now open, what would be the reading on V1 and V2? Now, if the switch is open, we can say that this is open here so that means there's no current going through this part in the circuit. So we can see automatically that the reading on V2 will be zero because no current is flowing through the, through the bottom branch and therefore no, no, no current flows through the, the voltmeter two, so the voltage is zero. But if you look at voltmeter one, it will be an interesting answer because if you look at voltmeter one now, because um, the, the, the resistors are removed, the total resistance in the circuit is not 1,6 ohms anymore. The, the voltage, the resistance in the circuit has increased to 2 ohms. So therefore, the current in the circuit has decreased. Now we know that if current decreases, according to the internal resistance, we see that V lost, V lost, is equals to I times R internal. So what we can say here is that if your, what we have to say here is we have to explain it carefully and we have to say that if the current is less, then the lost volts will be less. And if lost volts is less, that means the total voltage on V1 will be more. So therefore the reading on V1 will increase. We can say that number five, 5.1, the switch is open. Then the main point that we can say is that total resistance will increase. Therefore, the total current in the circuit will decrease. So if total current decreases, therefore our V lost our loss volts will be less. So V1 reading will be increased. So that will be the answer. So this will be uh, a, a typical examination type of sum where we see that they ask you to calculate resistors in parallel. You are asked to calculate the EMF. You are, you are asked to calculate external um, voltage. You are even asked to calculate the current going through a branch. And in so doing, they can also ask that if a switch is open or if a switch is closed sometimes, what will be the overall effect on the circuit? So this is a typical sum. I hope you took your pencils and made note of the sum. And uh, if necessary, you should do the sum again without looking at the answer. Thank you very much.